Ms. Freeman's class, welcome to Poem in Your Pocket Day. In a moment, you'll each have a chance to come up and sit on the stool, read your poetry loud and proud. Uh, make sure you're facing the microphone so that we can hear you. We're going to celebrate every person with snaps, or you can do quiet claps. Snap or quiet clap. Start us off. Remember, if you're sharing a poem that is by someone else, it's not by you, and you know the person's name, make sure you say it, or you can just say it's by someone else if you're not sure. This poem is a poem by Bobby Katz, which came out of this book right up here called Pocket Poems, and it's called A Pocket Poem. With a poem in your pocket and a pocket in your pants, you can rock with new rhythms, you can skip, you can dance. And wherever you go and whatever you do, that poem in your pocket is going there too. You could misplace your homework, you could lose your left shoe, but that poem in your pocket will be part of you. And nothing can take it and nothing can break it. That poem in your pocket becomes part of you. And don't be afraid to move the microphone up or down if you need to, so it's more in front of your face. All right, so remember, I'm going to call your name. If you're not ready to go, you're not feeling like it, just you can pass, and then I'll circle back around. Okay? Mm -hmm. I'll leave. Mm -hmm. Hi, Zach. Okay, we'll come back. David. The pass for oh, okay. now. Come back. I'll leave. Okay. Is anybody feeling ready to go? Hey, Dan. <laughs> it's like, oh Hello, everyone. Today, I'll be sharing a poem with you that I have written about tangles. I overcooled yet the delicious fish. Believe me, that was not my wish. Humans are overfishing, and that is causing penguins to starve. But we didn't know that the penguins don't have fish to eat, and that was such a great big feat. When humans came to the penguins' majestic home, I think you know it was not unknown. They saw there was no fish for the penguins to eat, and they realized that they made the penguins' lives a great big feat. They decided that they would fish away from the penguin's home so that there would be no gnomes in the penguin's sparkling homes. And after such a long time, penguins could eat fish. And that was my most magical wish. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, and here it is. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, you want to do it? Okay, Anna. Today I'm going to be sharing 17 cats by Dave Crowley. Cat woman Kevin has 17 cats. They slide on his counter to hide in cats. 17 stingers stay in a line without a pink sovereign and a bed of in a ball of white twine. 17 cats in the bed every night. They nuzzle up, they nuzzle his nose and snuggle up close and they snuggle up tight. Nobody stirs except for the rumble of 17 birds. Thank you. Well, keep you on ready. William. So, this is a poem. This is a poem about baseball, but it's about like a soccer for baseball, and that will be revealed at the end. <laughs> I have seen, I am not seen. I get down a hundred feet, especially by Maxi. Players hit me, so I hit them back. I'm funny mix, so I hit them back. I get whacked, even sometimes I get cracked, but not much. But I get hit a bunch. What am I? I'm a baseball. The mm -hmm. end. Was that by you, William? Yeah. I Oh, 
All right, Sherman and I are going to read one of my favorite poets, and you guys know who this is. This is by Ellie Greenfield, and we're going to read Bang. And you want to start us off? Would you read this one, and I'll read this one? Or you read this stanza, and I'll read this stanza? Wait, Walk in the store, buy me some candy. Ain't got it no more. Ain't got it no more. Went to the beach, played on the shore, built me a sand house, and got it no more. Ain't got it no more. Went to the kitchen, lay down on the floor, made me a pony. Still got it. Still got it. Okay, who wants to go now? Nope. Come on, Maria. Can you come to me? Oh, you know. Um, it's called Two More Days Before School is Over. We all have two more days until school is over, so we have to get it all moving. We all have much time, so get ready to run. The, the time is almost up, so get ready to wiggle your rump. Man, the bell just rang. Bye, glad you came. <laughs> Alright, let's just have a moment of silence. Maybe someone will feel ready. Take it easy. Okay, good. Andrea is going to go. And then she runs. I remember when I used to cry, but did you know that if you cry, you cry? I remember when I used to be funny, but did you know that I am still funny? I remember when I used to be scared of everything, but did you know that I am still scared? I remember when I used to cry for everything, but did you know I only do that when I'm hurt? I remember when my sister used to be so annoying, but did you know that my sister is still on? I remember when I used to be really nice. But did you know I'm still nice? I remember when I used to be happy. But did you know that I'm still happy? Thank you. I remember about sleeping and I had a dream of someone leaving. His name was Bob and he was very bald. I asked what was wrong and he just said he was sick. I told him my name was Stick Pick and then I saw his son. So that's not his face and that was the dream. Um, This is a poem by Ellie Greenfield riding a train. I see fences and fields, barns and bridges, stations and stories, trees and other trains, horses and hills, water cakes, towers, screens, old cars, old men, roofs, raindrops crackling backward on the window. This is a, um, this is a poem, um, I guess, 
I, I, or I, my brothers told it to me, and I'm like, I can't remember. They were just like, I can't remember when, but they just told me when they were in like the third grade. They were like, they, my brother was like, he, he made up a, I think, from someone, and so, and, and it's, it's just a funny song. Um, Zoo clown. Roger and Red sprout their blue in your high school lawns in the zoo. Do you know where all the years to put them out in a cage but laughing at you? Alright, anybody else want to read it? Anybody else? I'll be one more. Let me tell you. This is an original chip that I'm going to have. Blue spies. You got it. Blue spies. I love cupcakes. This is one thing about me. This is one thing about me. As much are cupcakes. One thing I can tell you that.